Hello, my name is Roblank Space, uh, and I am here with the combat and skills video for TEC. Uh, we've had a influx of new uh, players who have never played in a mud, mush, um, anything like that, who are learning how does your character get stronger. In certain games, you will... Um, beat things up and get experience and as you get more experience you you level up tec is a little different and how it's different is this you have as you type in skills as you see here uh, there's a lot of information now we're going to take uh, our combat one to start it says your skill or action it's one-handed swords my rank is one there's a name for that they call it novice there's a rank bonus, which is a whole other conversation for another day, and skill points. Skill points are, in TEC, what you use to level up. A certain amount of skill points are used to train and to learn how to do things better, how to reduce how difficult it is. So when you first begin, uh, say, palming, which is a pickpocketing skill, you take a coin and you're trying to like hide it in your hand at first when you do it it'll be very difficult but as the more you practice your pickpocketing and the more you practice your palming the the lower that success will be so for example as i said we start with our skills how do we do these things if you type in skills with a question mark this will give you the syntax for these uh actions your basic attack uh, coin sharpening, palming. This is how you uh, speak your different languages. So let's just start with our weapons. As we've mentioned before, we have some of our um, interactive in hand. So I need to get glad. I need to wield glad. I gotta go find some things to beat up. But blank, how do I target things? Great question. So first, we're going to move around here. We're going to... Where, where is everything? I should probably watch. Typing watch makes your character start kind of paying attention around themselves. Hopefully, our new character begins to see something moving off to the side, left or right. Uh, but we're going to continue to move around to try and find something. I'm going to look here. It's a dismembered corpse. That doesn't help me. Now, my torch is flickering. Let's hope the sun comes up soon. One of the things that you're going to want to use is the, the targeting in this game. Oh, something moving off, of course, way off to the northeast. Okay. Let's go find it. Where Where is it? There it is. It's a salt water snapper as you can see it's attacked me and it wasn't very successful how do i get my weapon to attack this thing well i mean we could type out all of our things we could attack the uh salt we could also attack the snapper if you remember from the interactive video if I match salt and I match snap, both of them, because there's nothing else in the room that matches that, are going to default to this snapper. Let's look at it. What, what? Thick shelled turtle, four feet. It's a big turtle. Uh, ebony green hue. Looks like uh, looks like if, could, if a bitch you might hurt. I've now attacked it a couple times. Let's do one more. Let's let's attack that. Let's there we go. Ooh, nice critical hit here. But how do I make combat easier? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I want to be able to do more. Here we're gonna start digging into some of the fun parts that make tech combat easier. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you come over here to this little button, right? Enter the string you wish to associate with this macro or hit return. So we want to attack 
we're going to put in these very nifty brackets target just like that now you don't see any target here we're going to have to add a target target snap your new macro target is snap with one click of a button here i am now beating up a a very aggressive turtle every single time I click. Let's uh, try to put this uh, this little guy out of his misery. So we've created a, uh, an attacking macro and we've attacked something. Where Where's my, where are these skill points? Where are my experience? There are a couple ways to see Again, you can type skills, and this will show you your skill points. We've made 5.19 from beating up this turtle so far. However, there are some other ways to also see how, uh, what our skills are doing. We have SSK, short skills. Eventually, later on in the game, you'll have more skills. And you'll want to kind of get the, how, how many skill points did I get this session? How many general skill points? You know, these are just short. Just, this gives you a little snapshot of what's going on. Oh, he got me. Roll that 100 out of 95, you're going to get bit. Now, <laughs> he, is, oh, two in a row. Henleek, you are not that lucky, sir. So you run around us on the island, you are going to, you know, beat up some things. The next question we always get is how do I learn more stuff? How do I continue to level up? You don't just attack things forever. There are certain games where that's, that's what you do. You continue to just attack and attack and attack and that's it. Okay. Let's say I'm done with the snapper. He apparently doesn't want to die. Look at that. It's the thick shell, right? Something's moving towards me from the southwest. What is down at the southwest? What is it? Is it coming for me? The snapper is just resilient. Okay, but I, you know, I need to get away. There are ways to engage and retreat. They are exactly what you think they are so i want to retreat or again ret you can retreat not only can you retreat if you look at your map here you can retreat in a direction i saw something to the southwest so i'm going to retreat to the southwest apparently it's off to the west now southwest where is it Northeast to the southeast. Now, what do we got here? Get an angry goal. I want to approach goal. I'm going to move towards it. All right, let's start clicking our macro. Oh, you don't see any snap here. That's right. This is a different target. And again, we have to change what we're targeting. So, Target, goal. As you can see, it'll tell you. Your new macro target is goal. You can also change that with just tar, goal. Three letters shorten things in a uh, typing-based game kind of become important. So let's, let's beat up this goal a little bit. This one, as you can see, is a little bit harder. I'm going to assume it's because it's flying around. Um... So, oh, he hit two just beating me up. Getting beat up on the island. So your character, uh, we've learned how to approach, retreat. Uh, there are other skills that you can use to do those sort of things. We're not going to go into it on this video. But uh, we're learning about our skill points, right? So I need to um, sort of level these things up. And as, hopefully as soon as this goal here gets beat up, 
we're going to go learn or train them. Man, this goal. Everyone, it's always interesting how when you start off as a new guy, everything seems so big and scary, and then eventually you come out here, you know, within like a month or two, and, and then you hit these things and they poof, explode. Man, he getting hit twice, man. Better not die to this goal. All right. Do 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 do. Goal's dead. Let's check our skills. We have 19 skill points. That is something phenomenal. Let's let's go back towards the city. Man, we need to get we need to get some training. Wait for Doc. Now we need to go back to, to town and see if we can find somebody to train us. Now, in the game, there are plenty of NPCs, which is uh, one of them we're going to go to. But um, while we wait and while we're on our way there, I wanted to show you another part of this game. Uh, just so you, you know about them. Uh, these are your traits. Traits are things that you... Um, build and make as part of your character creation. Um, I will list the wiki for you. You're able to kind of look at what they do. Um, that would be a whole video itself, but for this character, um, I gave him self-taught. I made him have superstitious fears, and um, he had hand of fate because I thought that that would be perfect for a uh, sort of character like this that's just created for a video. These are how you see your traits, uh, in case you're interested. That's not the really fun one, though. Stats. Stats is your, your character sheet, right? This tells you, you know, your name, where you're from, uh, your social standing, you know, your age, which can be changed if you need to as part of your role play. Then it shows your physical stuff, your height, weight, um, how, much, how many health points you have, your fatigue, um, how much you're carrying, and then it sh shows your stats. As a new character starting out, your stats are not going to be overly important at that time. As your character grows, there'll be things that you can do. There are both stat skills. There are also courses that can help level your character up. But for now, what I just wanted you to be able to see where these things are. So you have your skills. We have... Skills with a question mark. This shows your long form, and this is how you actually use these skills. If you wanted to know, hey, how many how many skill points do I have? How many did I get so far? SSK shows you as well. Again, that, that shortened version. Uh, yeah, I put my passive on. Uh, and I wanted to show you, because we're going to go down towards the city and one of the NPCs is going to tell me to put my weapon away. It's important to, to do that, especially early on, so you don't end up in trouble. Um, we also, I didn't mention, but I do want to mention it for now. There is a place where you can play with your macros. I don't recommend it, but I will show you. Um, it's literally called at macro. And right now, FE1 is attack. We're going to hopefully go learn a new attack, and we will slot that in our FE2, our second macro. So we made it back to the city here. Look at this right here. Put that weapon away. You comply and release your weapon. Now, I should probably not walk around just kind of holding that. Put Gladius or Glad in my sack. Way to go. Now, nearby, there just happens to be a trainer. If you type the word train, and there are many trainers in the, in the game world, they will show you what they teach, the difficulty, how high they teach it, 
And the, the important part here is how much it cost for the first rank of the skill and then what it cost every other rank beyond that. So if we were to learn combat maneuvers, it would cost 16 points for the first rank. Every other rank would cost seven. Our, our guy is kind of new. He doesn't have a lot of money. He actually has no money. So we can't, we can't afford something like this. Right. So we're gonna end up going to Bronze Lane. Uh, as you can see, we started back at the toga. That's where this nice constable is right here. We need to go somewhere where we can get a little bit of training, hopefully for free. How we do that, uh, not for just tr uh, not for free, the free part, but how do we train is a very specific way, and I want to be able to show you that. So hopefully uh, going to the Ludus with this new guy, I'm going to be able to show you how to rank up with your skills from 1 until 2, 2 until 3, and so on and so forth. Um, that was that. Oh, and, and I mentioned this before, I'm going to mention it again. So we made sure that we were watching, so we saw movement around us. We know about our stats, we know about our short skills, we know about skills with a question mark. We know how to approach or APP. Uh, you can also engage, it's E-N-G, engage somebody. You can also retreat. Um, these are all good ways, of, or these are all ways that we move in combat, you know? Not everybody has a spear. If you've got a knife, you need to be approached. You need to be closer to somebody to be able to do your attacks. Um, we know how to not only hold on to our weapon, but to get ready to attack with it by wielding it. We know how to unwield. We know how to put it back away. Now what we need to do is get into how do I level these things up? So I beat up some, some crabs. I beat up a gull. I switched my target. Now... How do I learn things? This guy's going to tell us a bunch of fun stuff. This right here, uh, you don't end up going to until you're done with the island for a little bit. So, you type train again, and this guy teaches everything but swords. Beautiful. Same sort of thing. Uh, 16 and 7 to learn these he doesn't have swords should have learned knives but that's alright we are gonna skip down the street to the guy who does do the teaching for gladius This is Gilvin. Once upon a time, he was, he was the cat's pajamas. He teaches your spears, swords, shields, and knives. Again, you can see to what ranks, what it would cost you. So, I already know one-handed swords. And to learn my next one will cost me five skill points. If I wanted to learn sword stab... I would need at least 15 skill points. But learning sword jab would be 10. New people don't have any money, but how you would do that is learn sword from Gilvin. Now it's gonna ask you, sword what? Stab, one-handed sword, swat, sap, could be anything. We wanna learn sword jab. Two dinars and two stirs. Would you like to train? I would. But I don't have enough money. If you... Uh, you're able to make money in the game. I have put a video out on how to begin making money. Once you have some money, you're able to come to this non-player character and train from him. Once you do that, your skills will change. You'll, you won't have just one rank in one-handed swords. 
you would have two. Let's see if anybody, uh, is there anyone near Bronze Lane who can uh, look, give me 10 dinars? And this is when somebody will say no handouts and I will giggle. But. <sighs> Why? Yay, for somebody being nice. Nope. Yeah, here we go. Come to the Ludus. Two buy some training from Gilvin. I will pay you back when I can, which is not going to happen because he's going to die. It's by the way. Yeah, dude, this is, um, what do you need again? Um, just 10 dinar. Dude, handouts, man. So, uh, hopefully this guy is really nice. And splitting up some money like a baller here. Takes a gold cent. I'm going to accept it from him. Ah, thanks. Runs away quickly. Uh, anyways, so I've, I got my gold scent, but of course I'm carrying it well, like I shouldn't be. You should probably put it in your, you know. All right. Put gold in my sack. We can pay for some trading. We'll type skills, one-handed swords. We type train to see what's available. We scroll up. I want to learn sword jab. Learn sword j from Gilvin. Sure. You count out some money and you train. Oh, how many do I have left? Skills. You have nine skill points left. So now I don't have, now I, I wanna level up my, my basics of swords, right? Okay, how do I do that? Learn one handed. From Gil. No. How about learn swords? Sword from Gil. Again, I'm trying to show you there's multiple ways to get the same thing. I want to learn number one here, one-handed swords. Five dinars. We barely got enough. So now, when we type skills, now we have two ranks of one-handed swords, one rank of sword jab. We have did this before. I'm going to finish this video with this. We've learned one more rank. We've learned a new skill. How do I use it, though? I'm going to drop our torch here. I'm going to get our gladius. We're going to wield it. So we're ready to attack. We're going to approach this dummy. Got it. We've got one macro, right? There's no gull here. Should probably target the dummy. Dummy. Here I go. Oh, beating it up now. Man, I just learned this new skill. How do I use it? Skills? Question mark. It says jab character. Okay. We click our two macro. Which string would you like to associate with this? How about jab, and then again, in our nice little brackets, target. So that what we target is what we attack. Jab target. We hit enter. We hit our first macro button. We're just attacking. Just slap sticking it around. Let's try our new macro by clicking this button. Suddenly, 
we're now jabbing at the, at the practice dummy. You'll continue to do this as you train in new skills. That being said, I hope you found this uh, sort of tutorial to basics of tech combat interesting. I apologize for my dog barking in the background at the end of this video. Um, nothing I can do about that. We went over how to approach things, how to retreat, how to look at our short skills, our stats. We've looked at how to uh, use the skill points, which are like experience, to train not only our basics, but to learn new attacks as well. So uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, I will post down below a, a link to the wiki 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 we're gonna go with wiki uh, where you'll be able to uh, look up your skills and the different um attacks uh, your non-com uh skills as well whether it may be pickpocketing or out in the uh forest uh, making torches and you'll be able to um learn as much as you can from there but if you have any extra questions please feel free. I'm going to put a link down below to the, the Eternal City Discord. In our community, we have a lot of people who are very helpful. It's very friendly. And uh, if you have questions, especially if you're a new player, please hop on in and feel, to, feel free to ask. Nobody's going to be upset or chase you away because you don't know how to do something. We would love to explain how to do these things so you're able to manipulate the game and the environment and learn and grow and enjoy your time here. Uh, again, my name is Rob Blankspace. Thanks for being here. I uh, hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time.